Hello dear students, I am Dr. Abhilasha Durgbanshi, Department of Chemistry, Dr. Harisengor Central University, Sagar, Madhya Pradesh. I am going to present a lecture of B.Sc. 3rd semester on the unit General Idea and Examination of Agricultural Poison, which has been jointly prepared by me and Hemlata Bhamdare, who is a UGC JRF PhD scholar from Department of Criminology and Forensic Science. Now, let us start a discussion while taking a look at what we are going to learn today. Module 1, we will discuss about introduction to agricultural poison, whereas in module 2, we will talk about classification of agricultural poison. Module 3 will cover preliminary examination of agricultural poison. Module 4, we will talk about confirmatory examination of agricultural poison. The Green Revolution was the technological response to a worldwide food shortage which became threatening in the period after World War II. The Green Revolution transformed farming practice in many regions of the tropics and subtropics where the principal food crop were rice, wheat and maize. But the brief account that follows will be mainly focused on the Indian subcontinent. In this revolution, the most responsible factor was agriculture poisons. These poisons are used to save the crop from unwanted pest. The pests may be either plant pests that is weeds, algae, fungi, microbes or animal pests which includes rodents, insects biting and sucking insects. The agricultural poisons are the chemicals having the properties of attack the pest only but not the crops. These poisons have the capacity of target the specific system of the body of an organism or pest such as nervous system, heart, lungs, reproductive system, excretory system and all most dangerous poisons are neurotoxins which attack the nervous system. Most agricultural poisons come in this category and are used widely but the farmers in agriculture these poisons are also for domestic prevention such as mosquitoes, flies, nematodes, bacteria, ants, cockroaches, rodents and etc. These poisons not only harm the pests but any organisms which intake them, them whether it is human or animal the poison will target the similar body organ or system. The neurotoxins create conversions, stretch, sensitivity in the body. More than thousands chemicals are currently used as insecticides and pesticides. They can be classified on the basis of toxicity. The agriculture poisons are classified as follows on the basis of their toxicity. First, virtually harmless. This class includes phenocyanatic acid plant hormones, example MCPA, DCPA, TCPA, used for dock and thirstal control. Second class is copper oxides, oxychlorides used as fungicides. The third category includes lime sulfur washes used as orchard fungicides and the fourth class is petroleum washes which are used as orchard insecticides. The fifth category includes tar oil emulsions used as orchard ovicides. The second classification is based on comparatively harmless pesticides. In this the first category includes sulfuric acid which is 20% and it is used as weed killer. The second type is sodium chlorate 
used as mass herbicides along roads rail tracks the third type is mildly toxic pesticides and this includes chlorinated hydrocarbon insecticides like ddt gamexin methoxychlor aldrin dialrin chlordan they are used to control fly louse tick agri insecticides and cattle disinfectors the fourth class is highly toxic pesticides the first type in this is arsenical compounds like sodium arsenite lead and calcium arsenate used as weed killers and orchard insecticides second type is nicotine sulfates tannates used as horticultural insecticides the third type is hydrogen cyanide sodium cyanide potassium cyanides used as disinfestors and reticides the fourth type is dinitro compounds dinitrophosphenol dinitro orthocresol used as selective weed killers ovicides insecticides and the fifth type is organic polyphosphates like hexa ethyl tetraphosphate tetra ethyl pyrophosphate octa methyl pyrophosphate and parathion insecticides agaricides on the basis of origin agriculture poisons are of three types the first type is vegetable like nicotine pyrethrin rotenone the second type is chemical insecticides and they include the first type inorganic phosphorus and compounds of antimony arsenic barium mercury thallium zinc and fluorides the second type is organic or synthetic in this we have phosphorus esters carbamates chlorinated hydrocarbons indane derivatives chlordan aldrin heptachlor dialrin endrin diandrin chlorbenzene derivatives like ddt phenanthosen bhc lindan gamexin and camifen toxafen strophane on the basis of chemical properties we there these are of four types the first one is organophosphorus poisons these are the chemical substances which are produced due to reaction between phosphoric acid and alcohol this affects the nervous system by inhibiting the action of enzymes like acetylcholinesterase ACHE this causes irreversible blockage leading to accumulation of the enzymes which result in overstimulation of muscles these mainly include alkyl phosphates like HTP TEPP tetron OMPA diamifox isopestox malathion which kills bugs bugsolin safotep dimeton triclofuran and aryl phosphates parathion folidol which kills phos ecato paraxon methane parathion meticide chlorathion diazion diazion which kills 20 the second type is carbamate poisons they are esters of carbic carbamic acid the mode of action is inhibiting acetylcholinesterase similar to that of the organophosphates but the bond formed for inhibition is less durable and thus reversible these includes bagon carbolyl temex malacyl carbofuran etc the third type of poisons are organ chlorine poisons they are the derived from chlorinated hydrocarbons these are endocrine disrupting agents which affect on the hormonal system of the body act as duplicate of the normal hormones and thus causing adverse health problems they remain environment for a long time by breaking down slowly and accumulating in the fat tissues of the animal a well known example is ddt dichlorodiphenyl trichloroethane bhc which is benzene hexachloride the fourth type of poisons are pyrethroid poisons they are potent neuro poisons endocrine disruptors 
and they cause paralysis. Pyrethroids are synthetic version of pyrethrin, a natural insecticides. They have similar chemical structures and similar mode of action as of pyrethrin which is obtained from chrysanthemum. These are derivatives of keto alcoholic esters of chrysanthemic and pyrethroic acids and are more stable in sunlight than pyrethrins. These are most popular insecticides as they can easily pass through the exoskeleton of the insect. For example, delta methrin, cypermethrin, etc. So, we will talk about agricultural poisons and we will see the color test for organophosphorus agricultural poisons. The first test is when the ethanolic solution of para nitrophenol derivatives like parathione, chlorothione, paroxene is heated with 10 percent sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide solution it gives yellow color. The second test is after reduction in amine and diazotization of nitro group of insecticides, it reacts with beta nephthol and gives different colors. The third test includes the test solution prepared in acetone is evaporated and heated on water bath for 10 minutes with 2 ml of ammonium phosphate solution which is 6 percent and then cooled in ice. Again, the mixture is heated with 1.5 percent urea and solution for 5 minutes. Then the 1 ml ammonium molybdate reagent and 1 ml ascorbic acid solution are added. The mixture is heated on water bath for a few seconds. The blue color is appeared in the presence of organophosphorus insecticides. Now, Next, we will talk about the color test for organochloro agricultural poisons. The first test includes the test solution of DDT gives wine red color with 0.5 percent acidic solution of hydroquinone in sulfuric acid. The second test includes in the presence of isopropanol, the test solution reacts with sodium, then reacts with methanol and phenyl azide this mixture gives red color with diazotized sulfanilic acid. The third test is the test solution reacts with dichloromethane solution in acidic so acid in the presence of zinc powder. The nitration of released zinc is done by nitrating the mixture of nitric acid fumes and sulfuric acid in the ratio of 1 is to 1. After nitration mixture is cooled, the mixture is diluted with frizzled distilled water and extracted three times with chloroform. The chloroform layer deposited in mixture is evaporated. The residue is dissolved in 5 ml of ethyl methyl ketone and added 5 ml of sodium hydroxide solution which is 10 percent to it. The red color appeared indicates the presence of BHC which is benzene hexachloride or lindane. The next includes the color test for carbamates, agricultural poisons. One drop of furfural and one drop of dilute hydrochloric acid are added in ethanolic test solution. Black blue color appears. The first confirmation can be done with UV spectrum. For parathion solvent is ethanol, the wavelength is 274 micrometer and 1 percent 1 centimeter, the wavelength is 343. For aldrin, the solvent is ethanol, the wavelength is 329 micrometers. 1 percent and the centi and the cell is 1 centimeter as well. For endrin, the solvent is ethanol, the wavelength is 224 
and the solution is 1 percent. The fourth category includes DDT. Here 0.1 sulfur percent sulfuric acid solution is taken. The wavelength is 268 micrometers and 276 micrometer as well. The absorbance can be taken at 225 micrometer as well. The second method is paper chromatography. In paper chromatography, organophosphorus agriculture poisons, the conditions are paper, Wattman filter paper number 1, the solvent is 10 percent paraffin ether solution, the visualization is in the UV light at 254 micrometers and the spraying reagent is palladium chloride, respondents are thiophosphate insecticide, we will get yellow spot for this. Now, for Congo red, the chromatogram is reduced by bromine vapor for a minute. After 2 hours, Congo red is sprayed in chromatogram, blue spots appear, respondent compounds are thioorganophosphorus insecticides. 1 percent ethanolic solution of diphenylamine after spraying irradiated in UV light at 266 micrometers up to 10 minutes slightly or black color of spot appears. This respondent compound are chlorinated organophosphorus insecticides. The RF value compounds with different solvents like ethanol, acetone, water 25 percent, 25 percent is to 25 percent and for parathion it is ethyl 0.08 percent, methyl 0.04 percent, malathion 0.83, diathion 0.88, dimethoate 0.86, phosphomidon 0.92 and for metacystox it is 0.85. Normal butanol and water can be used as the mobile phase. The ratio is 40 is to 50, parathion ethyl 0.22, methyl 0.68, malathion will have 0.95 retention factor, diazethon will have 0.96, dimethoate 0.93 and phosphomidon will have 0.95 whereas metacystox 0.93. Now, when we take chloroform, methanol and water in the ratio of 30 is to 50 is to 20, parathion ethyl will have the retention factor of 0.18, methyl 0.38, malathion 0.32, diazathon 0.62, dimethoate 0.70 and phosmobidon will have a retention factor of 0.91 and metacystox 0.92. Now, the second category is organochloroagricultural poisons and the conditions for TLC are paper Wattman filter paper number 1, solvent will be 10 percent paraffin ether solution. The visualization can be done using UV light at 254 micrometers and the spraying reagents are of different types. The first spraying reagent is 1 percent ethanolic solution of diphenylamine after spraying irradiated in UV light 266 micrometers up to 10 minutes. Slightly color spot appears, the respondent compound are chlorinated organophosphorus insecticides. RF value of compounds with different solvents are chloroform, methanol and water in the ratio of 30 is to 50 is to 20, DDT will have a retention factor of 0.12, benzene hexachloride 0.14, 0.32, 0.46, 0.53 and 0.62, lindane will have a retention factor of 0.32, andrin 0.16, aldrin 0.11, thiodane 0.13, 0.27 and chlorodane will have 0.15 and 0.30. Methanol, water, ammonia and water in the ratio of 90 is to 5 is to 10, then 
DDT will have a retention factor of 0.22, benzene hexachloride will have a retention factor of 0 0.31, 0 0.56, 0 0.70 and 0 0.84, lindane 0 0.70, endrine 0 0.44 whereas aldrin will have a retention factor of 0 0.16, thiodine will come at 0 0.45, 0 0.72, chlorodane 0 0.21, 0 0.34 and 0 0.54. Chloroform, ethanol and water when these are the solvent systems in the ratio of 20 is to 60 is to 20, DDT will come at 0 0.24, benzene hexachloride at 0 0.32, 0 0.46 and 0 0.56 and 0 0.64. Lindane 0 0.56, endrin 0.38 and aldrin will come at 0 0.26, thiodine 0 0.40, 0 0.60 and chlorodine will come at 0 0.23, 0 0.35 and 0 0.49. The main source of agricultural poisons exposure to humans are through the food chain, air, water, soil, flora and fauna, while acute poisoning generally affects farmers and industrial workers, chronic poisoning is more common in the general population. Agricultural poisons are mainly absorbed through dermal, respiratory and oral pathways, although absorption through the skin is prominent in environment workers, the general population is more at risk for ingestion and inhalation. Agricultural poisons are distributed all around the human body through the bloodstream and are eliminated through urine, faces and exhaled air. Agricultural poisons exposure may pose a potential risk to humans causing neuritis, psychiatric manifestations, hypnolarils, disorders, neurological immunological, metabolic and endocrine. It also, it has also been linked to increase incidences of leukemia and bladder cancer in farmers following genotoxic effects of some pesticides. Results of this type have led many researchers to evaluate the genetic risk associated with agriculture poison exposure. With all this information, here we come to the end of today's lecture. Do keep in mind what we discussed today. It is time for you to do some self study. This is Dr. Abhilasha Durubanshi signing off. If you want to learn more and enhance your knowledge, you may log on to our website for MCQs, quizzes, LORs at www.cec.nic.in. Till then, goodbye.